Hello, hi. Today we are going to continue our lecture, chapter 3, sequence and series with subtopic 3.2a. 3.2 is binomial expansion. After this lecture, students should be able to find the expansion of a plus b to the power of n, where n is a positive integer. First of all, so expand a plus b to the power of 1 is equal to a plus b. Then expand a plus b squared. Then we have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now find a plus b cubed. So what is a plus b cubed? a plus b cubed manually we can find expand a plus b multiplied with a plus b squared. Knowing that a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Then substitute the a plus b all squared into our expression. Then we have a plus b times a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And then expand manually. We have a times a squared equal to a cubed. Then a plus 2ab, we have 2a squared b. And then a times b squared equal to ab squared. Then b times a squared equal to a squared b b times 2ab equal to 2ab squared. And then the last one is b times b squared equal to b cubed. Simplify this expression and we have a to the power of 3 plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. Then... Try to expand a plus b to the power of 4. Similarly, we are doing the expansion of a plus b multiplied with a plus b cubed. So what is a plus b cubed before? It is equal to a cubed plus 3ab plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. And... Expand one by one, same as before. Then simplify, we have a to the power of 4 plus 4a cubed plus 6a squared b squared plus 4ab cubed plus b to the power of 4. So how about a plus b to the power of 5? The same method, we are going to use. How about a plus b to the power of 10? How about a plus b to the power of 11? Are we going to do the same thing? No. Yeah. So here we learn how to find the expansion of a plus b to the power of n by using Pascal triangle. So what is Pascal triangle? Okay, for, to find the Pascal triangle, we need to find the coefficient of each binomial expansion. So, for example, if we have n is equal to 1, so we have a plus b to the power of 1 equal to a plus b. So, what is the coefficient here? The coefficient for A is 1. The coefficient for B is 1. So now the coefficient is 1, 1. And then if N equal to 2, so we have 
a plus b to the power of 2 is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So what is the coefficient? The coefficient for a squared is 1. The coefficient for ab equal to 2. The coefficient for b squared equal to 1. So coefficient is 1, 2, 1. When n equal to 3, a plus b to the power of 3 is equal to a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. So what about the, how about the coefficient? It is 1, 3, 3, 1. The coefficient is 1, 3, 3, 1. And so on. By using this example, study what is the relationship between the first row, second row, and the third row. So now we have here study this Pascal triangle. So one plus one equal to two. So it is a triangle. One plus two is equal to three. So two plus one is equal to three. One plus 3 is equal to 4. 3 plus 3 equal to 6. 3 plus 1 equal to 4. So from this example, notice that each number in Pascal triangle is the sum of two number adjacent to it in previous row. So sum of two numbers in previous row. Is that okay? Is that clear? Okay, now, study this example. As you can see, for these two examples, the A is the first term and then B is the second term. And you can see here from this expansion, the power of A is decreased by 1. A cubed, A squared, A and A to the power of 0. And the power of B is increased by 1. So we have B to the power of 0, B to the power of 1, B squared and B cubed. So this is one of the properties for expansion A plus b to the power of n. And then, the degree of each term is n. So, the degree of each term is n. And the number of term in is n plus 1. So, notice here that a plus b to the power of 3. Now, how many terms do, do we have? 1 terms, 2 terms, 3 terms, and 4 terms. So now, if n is equal to 3, so we have 4 terms. If n equal to 4, we have 5 terms. The first term is always a to the power of n, and the last term is b to the power of n. So now, proceed to first example. So use Pascal triangle to expand a plus b to the power of 4. So here we need to write down the coefficient for n equal to 4 first. So what is n equal to 4? The coefficient is 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So here we have 
a plus b to the power of 4 is, the coefficient is 1 plus 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 1. Remember the, remember the properties before? The power of the first term, which is A here, the power of the first term is decreased by 1. Start with A to the power of 4. So it is A to the power of 4, A to the power of 3, A to the power of 2, A to the power of 1, A to the power of 0. A to the power of 0 is equal to one. So we have a to the power of 4 plus 4a cubed plus 6a squared plus 4a plus 1. How about the b? The b, the power of b is increased by 1. So start with b to the power of 0, b to the power of 1, b to the power of 2, b to the power of 3, and b to the power of 4. So now, what is our expansion? It is a to the power of 4 plus 4a cubed b plus 6a squared b squared plus 4ab cubed plus b to the power of 4. So this is the expansion for a plus b to the power of 4. Okay, now, for question b, what is the expansion for 2x minus 1 over 2y to the power of 3? So we have here n is equal to 3, a is equal to 2x, and b is equal to negative 1 over 2y. So, the coefficient for n equal to 3 is, the coefficient for n is equal to 3 is 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1. So, what is our a? a is 2x. So, it is 2x to the power of 3, 2x to the power of 2, 2x to the power of 1 and 2x to the power of 0. How about the second term? It is negative 1 over 2y to the power of 0, negative 1 over 2y to the power of 1. Then, negative 1 over 2y to the power of 2. And the last one is negative 1 over 2 to the power of 3. Simplify this expression. Then we have 2 to the power of 3 is 8x cubed multiplied with 1 plus 3 times 4x squared times negative 1 over 2y plus 3 times 2x times negative 1 over 2y plus negative 1 over 8y cubed. So then simplify the answer. We have 8x cubed minus 6x squared y minus 3xy squared Minus with, sorry, we have to square here, negative 1 over 8y cubed. Okay, so this is the answer. So before we end up our lecture for today, please do this exercise and submit to your lecturer. That's all. Thank you.